Okay, now this is usually where I'd say hello, friendos, but it seems like we're experiencing something rather odd. <laughs> uh... Hello, friendos! And welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club, Chapter 10. Righty. I hope you all enjoy the next 30 minutes with me. I believe we're up to the poem section and yet again another poem section uh, as far as I remember. So that being said, hope you'll sit back, relax and have some fun time with me for the next 30 or so minutes. All right. So until then, let's get into the game. Okay. I think it was on the 29th, our last playthrough. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I remember now. It was up to the bit where Monica was like, Oh, no, 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 please don't go. Please don't go. No. So I guess we're up to that bit. All right. That being said, let's see what we can do. So I think we should try and get more of Natsuki's um, persona. So let's try and go with more. I don't know. Can we go with. You know what? I think because things have already been going bad for Natsuki, I think we should keep going with Yuri. So, yeah, let's 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 try and get as much Yuri stuff. Uh, philosophy, um, grief, uh, disarray, um, hmm, alone. Um, incongruent, shame, uh, nightgown, a oh, fuck. Okay. Um, misfortune, hopeless. What's going on up here? What the fuck? One, 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 one. <laughs> Intellectual. Um, Unrequited. Uh, Okie dokie. Um, disorientated. Um, infallible. Judgment. Am I, am I, are we even getting through this right now? Unrestrained. Massacre. Vivacious. Entropy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is it. <clears throat> oh boy oh boy take a sip of my water friends mm. Mm. let's get ourselves ready shall we mm. nice nice I've been waiting for you are you ready to continue reading I've got my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. It's really late again. Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? I should always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You see, like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? Sorry. Seriously, it's gone into you lately. No, I just think about yesterday. And a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess we felt friends. But I know this is something we're doing together, so. And I don't remember what it hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, let's keep. Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coin under the vending machines or something? <laughs> Um, I'm the last one here again. What, you're back in piano again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Join the club, trying to take time for piano. <laughs> well, maybe not determination. Uh, but I guess passion? It motivates me to work hard for the best we do. Anyway, uh, science? What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, uh, is that so? Yeah. That's correct. 
circumstances have already engaged in the novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that you've gotten him in the literature, Monica? <laughs> I, I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys do whatever you want. Uh, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks so much. Is there something I can do to make my reading time here anywhere? It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention yourself as well. Yuri stands up, makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind of with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? I'm sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and I also fetch his an electric pedal. I'm going to plug this in and teach his desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodological. Wait, methodical? Method, whatever that word is. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Mm. I might as well walk with you. Okay. You stay here. I won't tell him. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did we leave you again? Uh, no, it's not like that this time. Um, She's just filling the water pitcher and, and make tea. Ah, okay. Sorry, I misunderstand. Ten minutes pass. You said it wouldn't take long. There's something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to look for her. Uh, let's see. The most logical place for you to be would be the nearest water fountain. I saw her heading down the hallway. <laughs> what was noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> a sharp inhale. Someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? <laughs> yes. Okay, something sharp. I only said it'll be 10 minutes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Back. I'm so waiting patiently. It's nice. Do you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah. yeah. Anything is fine. Okay, well. At least it's the temperature in the couch at 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Mm, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches a teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my, my surprise, Yuri starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. When you notice, I was doing a little bit of thinking. And I decided I would try to express myself a little bit more. But it turns out it's not very hard for me to do. But it's you who's around. Anyway. Ah, uh, that's great, Yuri. Uh, don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Sai. It's very endearing. That? Uh, Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I wish you had a parakel with tea for each of us. Sai, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's still a bit easy on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bend at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> no worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's, it's almost likely because my, <laughs> my, my, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have terrible reading posture. That's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get a book. I retrieved the book from my bag. I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with tea. You and I then sit against the wall, teacups in our sides. As in sync, we assume the same reading position as the last time, each holding one half of the book. 
Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Your east side is closer until our shoulders are twitching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri always was kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Your hand is being my teacup. Holding it with my hand is not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now, I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally push her chest. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume that the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup through my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Sorry, I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, uh, that's, that's okay, I won't take any. Eh? Are you, are you sure? Well, I, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. Are we going to feed her? Eh? Are we going to feed her? No need to apologize. I, I'll hold the book, okay? Are you, are you sure? Of course. He opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any hard time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, well in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips, as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, 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 you, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. <laughs> it's, it's, sorry, I, I, I guess I shouldn't have... Um, Yuri uh, uh, starts to breathe heavily. Uh, I, I, I can't. It's, suddenly, Yuri's voice that grabs my arm jerks me to my feet. My tickle gets knocked over. It's, it's, my heart my heart won't stop pounding, so I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Sis? So Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? Why am I feeling like I'm losing my mind? I get stopped. It, it makes me not want to read. One, two, look. A two. I'm like a Time to share poems. Mm. Holy moly. God damn. Well, normally this is where we would cut off for our episode, but it would be a bit too short. Wouldn't it? So why don't we, why don't we carry on, yeah? I think we should leave Yuri last after that ordeal um let's hmm I th do you know what I th oh man this is okay okay after the ordeal and the fact that I wrote the poem mostly about Yuri oh no no I think she's gonna break Oh my god. Uh Nask is gonna be mad as fuck. Come on, I tell you what. I'm sorry, Yuri. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, friends. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my opponent to her face and takes a deep breath. I, I love it. I love everything about it. It's nice. I wanted to take this home. Would you let me keep it? Please? 
<laughs> sure, I don't know. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Sam. I never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. I, it's okay, Vivi. Feeling this right. Right? It's not bad. Right? She only holds my poems in her chest. I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to take the poem with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes her feel good when you think about having it. I take good care of it. Not even. I haven't touched myself while I've it over and over. I'll give myself paper clips to your skin oil. This is my best string. <laughs> <laughs> you can have my phone too. Besides, after you read it, I know you really want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. is a little bit okay this is a little bit more difficult than the but i can try to get some of the words out undulators mm. Ooh. no i don't know I can't read any of this really. Crusade, trust, des, discomposently, expanders, on my skin. Surveys Blair. This is Thanksgiver. Graham. Pure joined counters. Counterlast. There's a lot of the same things in here. Um, wait a minute, this compulsion, uh, racing won't go away, pieces of her Drawing the knife to her um oh, drawing the knife to her chest continuously fucking her body um let the blade um a mess of her dad starts going crazy as if my thoughts start to return shooting pain assault me and alone the thought of this is disgusting Excrucible. Oh, man, this is difficult. Ever let myself think these things, but it's understandable. The worst continues to anger through it. And muscles strains from the unreleased tension experienced in my body her third eye is drawing me closer
Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In any case, you can tell my poem. More importantly, I endowed it with my scent. The, you and I are the most thoughtful person in the club. <laughs> I think I'm going to vomit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Let's uh, go to Natsuki next. Yeah. What? You give poem to Yuri? Gross. What's with you two? Hm. Not like I wanted to read it anyway. I'm just pissing, just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. <coughs> okay, I guess I've got to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. You know, he's been acting kind of strangely lately. You've only been here a few days, so you might not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive to things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I'm trying talking to her, she'll get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being a better friend with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see that this is happening. I know I'm not going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel helpless, so please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen for her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So, I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote you this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? Count on you, thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Jerry's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Sites? If you were just spend more time with Monica, all these poems would go away. You and I have messed up with someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay, okay! Just... <laughs> Size, I think I saw you... I saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I don't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend too much here with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty... It's excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts putting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she's just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be a sexual thing. At this point, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think you should keep your distance. That would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. <laughs> to put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head and I know how to treat my club members. <clears throat> anyway, I guess we'll, we won't worry about the poem. Uh, Yuri, whatever, please have the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Uh, well, whatever. It makes me happy, I won't stop it. As for mine, I work really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Uh, here goes. Imagine. He really startles me. Um, well, I guess it's kind of messed up <laughs> writing this poem. I was just trying to. Never mind. Let's just move on. Yeah. A dream. As I was staying over at my friend's place, there was there were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on TV. 
So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's try and get this over with. <laughs> Second thing is coming for shadowing that something terrible is going to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Ask you, can you make cupcakes? I know you're at least good at that. Hmm. You can, you can, well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want to, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not used to seeing them. I, I know that. I'm sure you know what I like to do. We can't run existential poetry, even without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So, I'm going to make that decorations and set up a nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us something to do. What about Spice? Spice is going to help me. You, you have used your monocle. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, one. That's just how it is. My like, curtain is. What are you trying to pull? Hey, Groove Natsuki. Not only is your work almost suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra person pair of hands. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All oh, you care about your fucking size around with doing stupid books. You a monocle. Hey, uh, I didn't do anything. Okay, and not much such a side who can help me instead of abusing your power. I'm not abusing my power. You should what? Oh, I'll wait, I was monocle. I mean, uh, fuck. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Just let's just make the choice, okay? <laughs> Fine. Fine. Jeez. Guys, I know you've fed up with these two by now. We can just. Let's just shut your fucking mouth and let him decide himself. You shut your fucking mouth. For God's sake. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Okay, Monica, boom. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house at the weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Sunday, okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It's fair, Nasuke. It was his choice. No, it's not fair. You want us all working and taking sides for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't wait you to know how delicious and important you are. Pulling sides away from me every single time and not included in something? I feel crazy. Or maybe you hate yourself so much so you're taking it out on others. In the suggestion, have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Let's, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. <laughs> See, it was very hard. All I wanted to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? You already followed Monica and asked out the door. Hey, is that it? Spice? Yuri really is something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out of the door. <laughs> finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Besides, I don't need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. Just the two of us. Don't. Isn't that so wonderful? <laughs> wow, there really is something wrong with me, isn't there? You know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt that good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater than everything I could have imagined. It's good to you. It feels like I'm good at even not breathing in the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone that care about you so much? Have someone who wants to reward their entire life around you? It feels so good. Now, why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I have to tell you. I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Besides, you know, I love you. I love you so much that even I touched myself with the pen I saw from you. 
this point, the Poyas can open and call his friend. I think you all. Myself. And I will be all yours. If this sound perfect. Tell me, please. Tell me, do you want to be my lover? Do you accept my confession? Oh. I'm sorry, Yuri, but I cannot accept your confession. As much as I feel like I'd want to, I feel like my life is in danger. I feel like if I do this, this is not going to end well for me. It's not going to end well for you, but either way, my choice that I make, this choice is not going to end well for either of us, no matter what choice I pick. This is a hard decision, friends, but... I know Monica told me to stay away. I know Naisuke wants me to stay away from her. But what do I do? What do I do at a moment like this? This is too difficult for me. This feeling. This feeling of love and loss, but also fear. This is a hard decision. I don't know if I can go through with it. I don't know. I don't know if I can go through with this. I think to myself what would happen. But I feel like I'm in danger. But maybe I could help her. But then again, this would never have happened if I didn't get close to her in the first place. This is my fault. This is my fault. And I have to reap the consequences. I'm sorry, Yuri. Feels like it's I feel like I'm in a loop right now. Oh now she's Before me, 
<laughs> I can't scream, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but something happened. Must be right just from past me. Sorry, I must have been pretty boring. I'll make up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Oh, uh, almost done. <laughs> I just want to have a cookie real quick. Monocle is the foil from the cupcake tray. Takes the cupcake. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm, you sound depressed. I really wish I had one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This didn't take too long. Hello, Brandos. So I know this is a very weird part to cut off, but um, the video ended up being quite long, uh, and I apologize. So I'm going to cut it here for chapter 10, and this upcoming week we'll have chapter 11 and 12 all in one section. We'll do what part one and a part two for the chapter. 11 and yeah i hope you enjoy them so thank you very much for watching so where you guys are in the world we have a nice day have a nice night mm -hmm. take care of yourselves and i'll see you again in the next chapter bye friends mm -hmm.